Welcome to a new edition of NC Sports Weekly News. Summer is almost over, but the water sports action just won't stop. In Sardinia with correspondent Andy Vansil, Dockside Talk with Terry Hutchinson and Vasco Vascotto during the final matches of the TP52 Super Series. Double title for Georgia Zarif, Brazil's a young revelation makes a sailing history at the Finn Gold Cup in Tallinn. The SAA 50 fleet matches are up on Lake Garda. Nicolini and Poli keep their nerve to win the XCAT European Championships in Lake Maggiore. America's Cup 34 update, the finals. Challenger and Defender at the last stance in the greatest sailing race of all times. NC Sports, plunge into the action. The Americans of Quantum Racing and the Italians on Azzurra were once again trading blows for the final and decisive leg of the 52 Super Series in Italy. The occasion was the classic Audi Week of the Straits, hosted by the prestigious Yacht Club Costa Smeralda in Porto Cervo. With eight races in the regatta, the duel which has dominated most of the 2013 season for the TP52s laid out its final chapter in the gusty passage between Sardinia and Corsica. Nautical Channel correspondent Andy Van Zyl was on site at the YCCS for a quick chat with some of the main players. Hi NC Sports fans, I'm Andy Van Zyl and we're in the beautiful Porto Cervo in Sardinia. There's good wind, great weather, lots of pros and I'm going to go check them out dockside. Tell me what it means to you and to the team to be racing here in Sardinia. First of all, uh, <laughs> it's a uh, sail at home, so it's, uh, that's the most important thing. We have a great uh, um, opportunity, a big responsibility also because uh, we know that uh, um, uh, this boat, this uh, name uh, has a long history. I was one of the young uh, guys that uh, was uh, supporting Azura, you know, and now I'm very proud and happy that uh, I can uh, try to, uh, to help the boat to go faster if I can. With the Mistral often stopping the brawl and stretching the calendar, both teams dominated the top spots. But this time, in home waters and with Vasco Vascotto and Francesco Bruni on board, Azzurra had the edge and secured the final three-point lead overall. This was a perfect finale for the 30th anniversary celebrations of the historic Azzurra campaign of 1983 under the flag of the Yacht Club Costa Esmeralda, Italy's very first challenge to the America's Cup and the brainchild of Commodore Riccardo Bonadeo. With their second place here, but mostly thanks to a substantial advantage built over the season, the Americans of Quantum Racing Team, with legends Ed Beard and Terry Hutchinson, win the 52 Super Series 2013 Championship and the Atlantic Cup. TP52 and America's Cup are two completely different races. What is it about this class that you love and that you come back to? Uh, well. You know, we just did a 35 mile race and with a mile left, the boats are about a stern with each other. And so to me, there's no better racing than what we just had there. And, you know, I think when you, even when you look back at the previous TP52 racing or the, the last America's Cup in 2007, you know, there the average Delta win or loss between the two boats was 19 seconds. And so that's what we had here today. And I mean, it's just awesome. <laughs> Now that the 2013 TP Super Series have their champions, it's all going to start up again in Key West in January. And of course, Nautical Channel will be there.
a new Brazilian sailing superstar is now making waves in the prestigious fin class, the playground of the very best of sailors in the world. And now for the very first time in history, the same athlete is crowned both senior and junior world champion. 21 years old and an impressive winner of both the Finn Gold Cup and the Silver Cup here in Tallinn, Jorge Zarif is now the great national hope for a sailing gold medal in Rio 2016. With over 80 of the world's best specialists on the water at this Estonian event, Jorge faced some pretty strong competition. The pressure came from a trio of pursuers led by Britain's Edward Wright, Peter Jan Posmat of Holland, and the Croatian Milan Bujasinovic. Back in races two and five, Georgia won two of the seven qualifiers and took another valuable third place in race four. Minimizing losses and maximizing results in such a large fleet became crucial. Zarif managed to stay in the top 10 in most races and earned his medal race entry with an impressive 19-point lead. The young Brazilian ultimately secured his unprecedented double title victory with a relaxed ninth place in the final, still tallying a seven-point overall lead. Osma and Wright were left jostling for the podium as a single point would become the final decider, giving Britain the silver and the bronze to Holland. Instead, for the junior world title in the Finns, Zarifa also shared the podium with Jake Lilly of Australia in second and Russia's Arkady Kistanov in third. In the summer, racing Swiss teams packed the podium at the European SA850 Championships in Malchesine, Italy, as Eric Mayer and Eric Monin on Chantaine Val de Vicky stood well above the fray with six wins in the nine scheduled races on Lake Garda. Promoted as the International Gentleman Boat, the SA850 class was born in 2007, following the many successes of this 8.5-meter cruiser. Sport Boat Euro 2004, European Boat of the Year 2005, Sailing Boat of the Year 2007 in the USA. This little yacht is a real winner. Versatility is key. The S850 is a complete sailboat that easily fits on a trailer and with its retractable keel system, it can access just about any port or basin. It was conceived by Jay Schufter for a pure sailing experience in both windy and light conditions, whether sailed single-handed or crewed. With just 1,250 kilos in displacement and capable of unfurling 33 square meters upwind and another 68 downwind, this boat was designed by the Italian maestro Umberto Felci as a sleek racer at heart that is now capturing the imagination of many a passionate sailor. Outsiders Matteo Nicolini and Tommaso Poli win the European Championships in their Italian home waters of Lake Maggiore on their new XCAT 6. In an action-packed fifth round of the UIM Skydive Dubai XCAT World Championships, marked by spectacular spins and upsets among the top ranks, the Azzurri held their own through three nerve-wrecking restarts and the two dramatic capsize of console brokers and Speedcat Champions victory team. Albeit shaken up, all four crew members emerged unharmed thanks to the extremely quick reaction of race management and the efficiency of safety crew, once again confirming the high standards in UIM power boating events. This was a lucky day for six and the thousands of fans in Arona as Nicolini and Poli came off the blocks in fourth position in race three to quickly overtake Skydive Dubai. Then from third position, with the leaders of Team Fatsa suffering engine trouble and dropping to seventh place and a penalty inflicted on Qatar team, the lane to first place was left wide open for the Italians that closed the 12 laps of the race in 31 minutes and 13 seconds to become the new 2013 
XCAT European Champion. As we close this latest edition of NC Sports Weekly News with a 7-1 score for the challenger, Emirates Team New Zealand is just inches away from capturing America's Cup number 34. With Oracle Team's progress mounting race after race, however, anything is possible up to the very last duel. With a determined Jimmy Spithill on a comeback and the key switch to Ben Ainsley on tactics, the defender has gradually eroded the powerful Kiwi Armada. The question remains, is there still enough time? Team USA needs to believe so to the end, and with an impressive progression, they have in fact closed both the speed and handling gaps on board, becoming a real threat. ETNC has certainly felt the mounting pressure as these AC-72s continue to surprise not just for their awesome speeds, but also for their astonishing agility. One thing is for sure, Dean Barker and Ray Davis have responded in kind, rarely making mistakes on the course. New Zealand came prepared, also improved performances, and would never chuck away their substantial lead, now just to two wins away from the America's Cup. For the full race-by-race -race recap of this spectacular AC-34, with highlights and interviews from San Francisco, stay tuned to Nautical Channel and the next edition of NC Sports Top Story. Plunge into the action with NC Sports.